Yo, my fellow Epic Gamers, how are we all doing today? Welcome back to the amazing video here today. And today we're back on this whack ass game called Life is Strange Double Exposure. We're going to be hopping into the very last chapter, which is chapter five. So, you guys are excited for this? Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and uh, let's get right on into this. All right, let's go. Chapter five Decordinates? <laughs> These are some big ass words. I'm really curious to see how this is going to end, so. We had Safi kind of crash out at the end of the last episode, so. Find her. Do I gotta walk up this big ass hill again? I gotta walk off. Oh my god! How many times have I walked up this fucking hill, dude? Sophie will be there. The one that drank champagne with me out of a crappy mug. Probably not. Probably the murdering well, psychopath the one. Hurt so many people. Even herself. Oh damn! There's question marks on the timeline. I tried so hard to. Fancy seeing you here. Which one are you? Who are you? Am I even Safi? After all that? Okay, so that's the crash out, Safi. Good to know. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> you really did it. <laughs> Weather's worse than I remember it. Storm followed me. So did I, apparently. I've never done that before. I guess it's time. Hmm. Yeah, give me that gun. Let me shoot you. I'm so sorry. sorry Not really. What? You're not the one who shot her mom! For what I've done, what I'm going to do. Stop stalling, Max. You saw what happened. There wasn't any of me left. It was all Moses and Ben and Lucas and Gwen. It hurt so much. I hurt so many people. Help me fix it. Please. Oh, do we get to make a choice? What are we going to do, Max? Oh. It was all a ruse. That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. I'm getting some deja vu. Feels good. Final. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Or maybe the world is cursed. We just live in it. Safi. That's poetry and bullshit. Yeah, I know. You're so important to me, Safi. God, you're such a cornball. Uh. Pull the trigger. Damn, I wanted a bit of shooty shooty bang bang. What? 
Hopefully that random cow in the tornado didn't get shot. <laughs> Did we just walk into the storm? I don't think that's necessarily the safest thing to do. Ah! And then we got struck by lightning. Well, this is our life now. Stuck in a tornado. Whoa! There's two moons and one of them's red. Are there going to be whales on a beach? I can't say. Is it going to snow? Because it was already snowing. So, this isn't in uh, Arcadia Bay. We haven't got snow here in like 10 years. Okay, so looks like I'm not dead. It's always a plus. <laughs> Small victories, Max. It's so quiet for a storm. Like, oppressively quiet. Safi? Safi! Gotta go find Safi. I've got a message from my mom and dad? Uh... Can we free to come home this summer? We're at Blackwell Academy. Blackwell? It's gotta be old. <laughs> Max! I can hear you! But where? Are you in some other timeline? Where are you? I thought there was someone on this bench here. Safi! There's what someone over here. That's not Safi though, is it? Help me! Who the hell are you? Is that Diamond? Diamond? Yeah. Max, thank God. I walked out of the snapping turtle and then somehow I was here. You see all this too, don't you? The eye of the storm? I see it. What the fuck is going on? I don't know, but if things are weird now, they're only going to get weirder. That's not comforting. I wish Moses was here. I hope he's okay. Man, I wish he was here Come too. On. He'd make everything Let's okay. This storm is as bad as it looks. Maybe Sophie and Moses found shelter. Max, I'm right behind you. Not to be like a hater or anything, Max, but um, I don't think that's very likely considering that Safi was screaming, Max, help, where am I? <laughs> I don't quite think that that's in the cards. Moses is? Alright, I'll take him. He's better than her anyway. Message from Warren? Hey, what's up, Max? The cat? Hello? Whoever this is, I really don't have time for this shit. I don't want to sound ungrateful for getting petted in a nice home, but the f food and a place to sleep would have killed you? Wouldn't would have killed you? Don't go blaming the weather for shrinking your duties as a foster, Max. Is this like literally my cat? Is this Quentin? I forgot his name. Is this Quentin? <laughs> Wait, Quentin, is that you? Th my Being cat is texting me? By a cat is definitely a low point. No fucking way! I'm past the living in a dorm age. I'm past responding to Warren's texts, too. 
Holy shit, poor Warren. Hey, Mad Max, where are you hiding? I tried to drop off those rad decap for days of DVDs. My chair is loud as shit, isn't it? <laughs> uh, you weren't in your room. They were super cool. Like you said, the way one guy slashed through five heads at one time. Yo, text me back. Max, don't ignore me. Whatever. Stop by your dorm whenever you're around. See a pup. Is that a threat? <laughs> that kind of sounded like a threat to me. What up, Moses? How you doing? Hey, uh, Moses? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. Are you smoking? Have you seen Soppy tonight? Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? So, should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? What? You're not making any sense. Are you trying to tell me something? Just trying to capture the perfect photo. The perfect photo. The perfect photo. Hang on. Safi? All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Safi, are you in there? Max! Max, it's me, Moses. I. Moses! All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? I don't know. What the fuck is happening? I guess I'd. Take a picture, watch a zombie movie, a Rob zombie movie? <laughs> Strange. This feels right. But that, that's just Sophie. I haven't double exposed a photo in a while, but if I superimposed two images of Moses on top of each other, maybe I could separate the Sophie parts out of Moses. <coughs> Max, thank you. I, I. Oh, I get it. This is when the double exposure part comes in. Ah ha ha. Like Sophie had locked me in a kind of, I don't know, a sarcophagus. I was trapped. Still protected somehow, and I could hear Safi. I could hear you, just outside of it. I... What did she say? She was hurting, Max. That's all I could tell. Whatever you did, snap me out of it. Or snapped her out of me. Max. I'm sorry, I... Safi? 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 You okay? I think I know what I have to do. Bet. I'm coming with you. No, stay here. The storm. I've been through something like it before. Reality gets unreliable. Better if you sit tight. Machine Angel Psychic Storm? Hell yeah, brother. Take care, Max. See you on the uh, flip side. Not the butterfly. When a door closes. The window opens. And if the window closes, there's always the escape hatch. No, am I back in the bathroom? 
I hate Victoria Chase. Fuck that bitch. This isn't Caledon. This is Blackwell Academy. Chloe was shot here. I listened to it happen. I... You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. What'd you get that? What? What are you doing? Chloe! Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control Wait. Me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe Sophie's right. Maybe we are cursed. Cursed to relive our worst moments over and over again. I had a chance to save Chloe from this bathroom, from Nathan's gun. And I did. And dozens of people died instead to my storm. Well, joke's on you, Storm. If you don't think I play out this moment in my head every day, then you don't really know me. Oh, we got a message from Kate, dude. I don't care about oh, fucking Victoria. Kate, you deserved better friends than the ones you were stuck with. Better than me. Hey, Max, I really appreciate you looking out for me. It's nice to know at least one kid here at Blackwell isn't a jerk. I prayed every night I came here that someone would have feelings, my feelings in mind. And you were that person. Thank God for you. I wouldn't have made it otherwise. Kate! Oh, I love Kate so much. And then fucking Victoria. I don't even want to read what she said. Fuck that bitch. Okay, find where the source of the noise is. Is it coming from in here? Kick that bitch down. Oh my God. Use some authority. There's just a shitter in there. Ain't nothing else. What about in here? Wait. Does that say Chloe here? Oh no, Chloe's here. Huh. What if I don't want to close it? It's in one of these stalls. Maybe this one then. Uh! Yep, there we go. I found it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay. Monkey. Lucas, I have to get down there. Looks like we're back at the bowling alley or whatever. Joyce! Uh, Max, honey, you have to come home. No, 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 you have to come back down uh, to the dinner diner. for. I can read, I swear to God. It's like five in the morning. All right, let me restart. Max, honey, you have to come down to the diner for some pancakes. I've got a new special with extra bacon on the house. Promise I'll be better than anything you can scrounge up in Blackwell's cafeteria. All right, it'll be better. I can read, I swear. Okay, one neb is cute, kinda. One. Squeeze! Kind I told you this place was a portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Jesus, possessed dolls much? Possessed? That's crazy. Oh, I... I could totally jump down there, but I guess not. Still busted. I'm not getting down this way. Huh. Well. Can we jump down here? I swear. Any other day, a tree blossoming in a bowling alley would be the weirdest shit I'd seen that day. That is kind of crazy. What timeline is this? Maybe the stairs won't be blocked anymore. What kind of fucking door is this anyway? So is that just not gonna open? The dark room door? What's that say? Go fuck yourself? Oh, go fuck yourself, he. Jefferson's sick photos. 
One binder for each girl. What the fuck are these doing here? What the hell is this supposed to be? Oh my god, it's red. It, it can't be anything but that. I can't. Oh. I, can't. I was 18 when Jefferson trapped me in that chair. I'm not 18 anymore. How old are you, Max? What are you like, 30? 25? So this is what it's going to take. You want me to sit in that? Oh, God. oh brother. I can't move. That's a thick ass needle. Escape. Is that Lucas? Is he repeating Jefferson's lines? I, I don't want to look at this. Can I like break out of here? Is that why the bumpers keep popping up? I can't really do anything and just kind of look at everything. I, I don't want to look at this. I don't want to either. I had so many dreams about this thing. There we go. We finally broke free. No. No. Never again. Once is all you get. Yeah, no do-overs. Hey, a ladder appeared. How crazy is that? Oh yeah, that thing fell earlier. If not for Safi that day, that would be my headstone. And now I have to return the favor. I guess. Let's switch timelines. Woo. So this one is like the living one now, right? I think just based off the colors. What you doing? You really like this tree? Is this the giving tree? Crack! Crack of life. <laughs> we gaze at each other. In the windowless box. It is flight. Or fight. Never forgive. Lucas, it's me. It's Max. But there are no bells, doors, or windows. Only his face. A mirror. Wow, that's pretty poetic, I guess. I Gotta double expose him. Smile, Lucas. Smile for the camera. Maybe double exposing the photo again? It worked with Moses. There we go. Max. It's really you. In the flesh. I thought I was dreaming. Sophie was there. What the shit is this place? Stay put, okay? It's dangerous out there. Is that Reggie? My boy Reginald? I think that's all I... Miss Caulfield? Is that you? Reggie, I'm so glad you're okay. Max, what the hell is happening? I'm not sure. It has to do with time? A time vortex that manifests in a storm Ugh. time vortex fuck you're right i remember Safi being shot and i remember seeing her around campus 
And and last night I was I, I hung with Diamond at the Turtle, I think. And I also sat there alone and watched you make out with Vin. Reggie. Just stay here, okay? I'm going to fix this. Wait, did Reggie like Vin? Did I miss something? Hey! This is Safi. Isn't it? This is her pain. What we did to her. Vin, I don't think Safi blames you for- <laughs> No. <laughs> You're right. She doesn't. She was in my head back there, and she doesn't think about me at all. Two Sophies in two universes, and neither of them cared if I lived or died. That's rough. <clears throat> you know, I... I was in love with her. Or I thought I was. Maybe you should focus on what's in front of you. Yeah. Maybe. I'm going to fix this. Trust me. I do. I do trust you. Be careful, Max. Okay. Out of the frying pan and into the turtle, I guess. Amanda, thank God. Are you okay? I don't know. Weird shit at the turtle is someone flipping the paintings with the bathroom key going missing, not this. Not Gwen just standing out there in the middle of it. What an unbothered queen. I stand. What is this storm? Why is Gwen out there? And why are you not also freaking out? Look. Go get yourself some water or a beer. And I promise I'll explain soon. I'll try to. I don't think Gwen entirely knows she's outside. Gotta reach her. Find a way to get close enough. Chloe? Chloe. God, Chloe, I'm sorry for everything, but I'm also so, so tired of being sorry. Hey, hippie, just wanted to say, no matter what happens, and no matter what happened, you'll always be amazeballs to me. Oh, Chloe. Man, I miss her. Uh, so we obviously can't go through that door. Let's switch timelines, see if this is open now in the other timeline. Hey, look at that. And Gwen is still out here? I imagine so. No. Thought I'd be used to this. What is this, a hotel room? It's a pretty nice one. Explore the motel. At least the motel is new. You got a beer in here? Even if I were hungry, I'd rather just wait till I'm back in the snapping turtle to eat. The snapping turtle. That actually scared me. Wait, there's a Jesus. message from Max? My first journal entry from when I got accepted to Blackwell, July 10th, all those years ago. If words if could only dance. I'd known how much my life would change. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one, but who cares because I got into Blackwell Academy! That's what's up. On tonight's motel mishaps, Max tries to make a grilled cheese, accidentally commits arson. Nah. <laughs> Real. That's how it would go with me, too. Chloe and I aren't enemies. She just doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Damn. Tristan Waters? That's crazy. Alarm clock. What time is it? That 
can't be the right time. What time is it? Six times six? What? Six hashtag six? Just how I like them. Oh yeah, the, my favorite time of the day. And not too bright. Six to the third power is my favorite time of the day. Don't worry, Safi. I'm coming. Is this the same room? Am I stuck in a loop? Is this kind of like in the first game? This is where I stayed in Santa Fe. Lockpick said. Chloe used to tell people my abandoned spaces photo shoots were just an excuse to be alone with her. She wasn't wrong. <sighs> Convenience and sadness of my profession, of my entire life, fitting in a single duffel bag. That's rough. If you told me in high school the one constant in my life would be this tripod, I'd have guffawed. What the fuck does that even mean? Wait, there's an escape plan. Just so you know, the more you say no escape, the more I'm going to try. Yeah. I'm gonna blow this popsicle stand. Right back in here. Hang on. Okay, wait. Is there like something I gotta do? This is there like something different? Pretty sure this is that motel in Cleveland. Oh, these are like different. It's all the same here. Do I just like keep going? I'm not seeing anything different. All right, Cleveland. After this shoot, I'm gonna nap till June. Maybe September. Yeah, I gotta be safe. Back in another one. Where's this one? This one's in black and white. What is this? The 50s? I'm so tired. Let's go for a little nappy nap. Maybe if I lie down for a few minutes, all of these rooms will stop spinning. Feels so nice to rest. I wish I didn't have to get up for that shoot. Who? Was the client again? Or the location? I... That's the problem with moving around so much. All these rooms really do start to blend together after a while. Nap time's over, Max. Gotta get up. Nebula? Like from Marvel? The Avengers? Didn't she die? Fuck. <laughs> I don't think that really solved Help. anything. How do I get out of here? Hey. I can't even open this door. Aw. Uh, that looks like a fucking cardboard cutout or painted on. What the what the hell is going on with this room? This is the bed's the only thing that's real. Huh. How do we how do we get out of here? There's gotta how how do I get out of here if I can't even open this door? Well, start punching holes through the wall. Let me out. Okay, back at the snapping turtle. Reach now Gwen. Still outside. Purgatory and back. I can finally see what's going on with Gwen. I'm back. Jesus, Max. Warner girl first. Sorry. You disappeared and I don't know where you went. I'm okay. And I promise I'll explain everything. Later. What's up, Gwen? You just kind of chilling out here when there's, you know, big ass storm over there? No care in the world? Might as well just take a picture. There's probably no use on, talking Gwen. to her. Almost over. And hiya! Double expose. 
double expose again. Take shelter. Wait, what are you gonna do? Sophie's out there, somewhere close. I can feel her. And she needs me. I need her. Be safe, yeah? When am I not? Why do I always gotta fall for the weird one? You know, there's actually quite a bit of instances where you're not safe, Max. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> All right, on to the next weird ass place to save more people. Oh, where's this? Oh, we're back. Is this Caledon? Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Always forget you're so huggy. Did I do it? Are you you again? As much as I ever was. Thank you, Max. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find a way out of this place. Or this time. Hey. I'm taking a minute. All of that was pretty fucked up. Yeah. But who needs all the king's horses and all the king's men? I've got you to put me back together again. <laughs> I didn't really do anything, I just took pictures. False modesty is annoying. Oof. So, any chance of everybody just forgetting I tried to rip out their soul? Mm, yeah, I'd say. I don't think so. Everyone I've encountered seems lucid, and the timeline seems to be combining. Great. Fantastic. We'll deal with it. Time travel, alternate universes, scraping together the broken pieces of your unstable friends. What else can you do? I can make a mean burrito, make you breakfast. That's what I was saying. I can fry a mean egg. Oh, well, that's pretty much what I said. <laughs> promises, promises. What? You just seem... Sad, calm? Calm, I guess. Extremely chill? Considering we're still stuck in a supernatural time storm. It's the little things in life. Frappuccinos, movie marathons, chilling with your bestie in the void. Hell yeah. Hey, we're back here. I'm glad you were here too. You know. But I just tore everybody apart into tiny little pieces. You didn't mean to. Are you sure? I didn't not mean to. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not going to say they'll forgive you because I Everybody fucking I wouldn't. Betrayed me. <laughs> My mom. I'll never be different. I think the best thing would be a clean break. I don't belong here. Don't say that. Of course you do. After your hometown got whirlwinded, what did you do? I ran away. You're not like me, Sophie. You're way stronger than I ever was. Don't say that about yourself. You have it wrong. People like you and me, we don't belong at some B-tier liberal arts university with a bunch of washed up bloggers ready to knife each other for tenure. We're fucking divine. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. The shit that we can do, gods can do that stuff. Or monsters. You can say whatever you want about the choices you made, but you aren't a monster. You're my friend. I hurt people, and I fixed it. We can fix it. Together. Of course. Duh. That's why you're so confident. The figure's the only person I can rely on is me. Sophie, I don't... Last piece of me, Max. It's in you. Why isn't it hurting me like it hurt everyone else? Maybe I trust you? Maybe it's more of your magic Max bullshit? Plot armor! I wish I didn't have to take it out. Is that weird? Um. I guess not. Safi. This is maybe the least weird thing that's happened to me in days. We should though, right? How we get out of here? If I had to put money on it, yeah. It's probably for the best. We don't want you to get an infection or anything. <laughs> yeah, I heard that those time infections are real nasty. Some nasty business. See you on the other side. We about to take a selfie? Uh oh. Fuck your selfie. Hashtag sad face. Sophia. Uh, oh my God. Yes, mean. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Do you think you can get up? Can you... Oh, Sophie, help me! Clean break. Remember? It's alright, Maxime. If Sophia wants to pretend I'm not here... Well... That is her right. Sophie! <laughs> uh, 
she's your mother. Oh, yeah? Now I'm my mother. I can be anyone, Max. I can be your new boyfriend. I can be a cute girl at the bar. I can even be... Yo, if she if she's Chloe, oh, I was about to say, if she pulls up as Chloe. Sophie, stop it! Oh, oh, keep that that thing away from me. You can make her forget she saw that, right? Better yet, you can make me unshoot her. You have an instant undo button on life, Max. Why not use it? I mean, I kind of can't. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. I'm not your magical toy you can wind up to fix all your problems. You saw how bad things can go. You're right. I've got a lot to learn. So teach me, Ms. Caulfield. What? You said we could fix everything. Together. Safi. I can't. I have... Fuck, I have my, my life, everybody. I'm going to find other people like us, people with powers. I spent my whole life thinking I was the only one, knowing I could never tell anyone because they would look at me like that. But now there's you. You and me, time traveler and a shapeshifter. Imagine what we could do. And who cares if I'm a silly little girl whose mom needs to show her how the world works? Because now, it works however I want it to. Stay here. Keep your job, your life, whatever irresistible glory Caledon can offer you. But I have to know. When I come back, are you going to stay with me, Max? Are we in this together? Or is everything you said in the storm just words? Oh. I don't know, Safi. You seem kind of evil. But you're kind of hot. But you're kind of evil. But you're kind of hot. No, you're kind of evil. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay, Safi. And I'm happy you don't feel alone anymore, but... I know what happens when you just use your powers without thinking. I get out of jail free car. Okay, Max Caulfield. <laughs> Be seeing you. Well, Max might be kind of fucked now, but... I don't know, was that supposed to be the big ending choice? Oh, a few days later. Wake by Tessa Rose! Is this copyrighted? I guess we'll find out. If I sound all funny, it's copyrighted. Oh! <laughs>
the hell is Loretta doing with Reggie? Get away from him, you whore. Uh, Moses. Uh, thanks again for this. Hellerton House isn't really a place for a cat. I set up a bed in a cardboard box. They love it. And they love sitting on my laptop and my play box and my textbooks. Yeah, they kind of do that a lot. You're a cat dad. Cats love rectangles. You're obviously a cat dad. See, you're a cat dad already. I'll have to grab more canned food on the way home. I'm glad it's working out. So far, so good. By the way, everyone's here at the turtle now. You sure you want to do this? What are we doing? Uh, sure, totally. I'm ready. I'm a dad. Uh, oh, thank God you're all right. Take all the time you need, but not too much time. Yeah, I'm so sorry. It's been a long, weird week, but I'm okay. Love you guys back. She Chloe. She knows me better than anyone. Knew me better than anyone. The me now, though, after all this... Maybe it's time I found out who that Max is. Uh-oh. Are these new texts with Chloe? So everyone who said Chicago winters were unbearable, they were gross, eh, my sister's freezing. Did I read all this? I think. Let me let me read the. I'm pretty sure I read all those already. I remember about Chicago. Uh, well, since you asked, why don't you wow me, bring me whatever delicious St. Louis. I read this already. Uh, I googled where you were where you were asleep. Chloe, you really are the best. Yeah, I'm really something. Yo, Max, I get it if I'm the last person you wanted to hear from. Saw in the news about the storm and I hope you're alright. Oh, well, that's nice. She checked in. Max didn't go and text her back, but... No more lies. No more hiding. They're what are we doing? waiting for me, the snapping turtle. I guess we're, we're in the combined timeline? Oh, shit. So, can, like, everyone just be friends with their other other timeline person? I having this dream. Hey, Reggie. I know we didn't get much chance to talk in the... The Twilight Zone. <laughs> well, we were all a little busy. <laughs> can I ask you something privately? Um, so, about Vin. It's okay. I know that you didn't kiss him on purpose. Or, or I mean, I know that it wasn't about me. Um, I was pretty drunk. That's my excuse. We were sad and drinking, and he's... Like an avalanche. Yes. Tell me about it. It's fine. I'm over him. I'm focused on doppelgangers. Oh, was that his ex? Multiple realities, and <laughs> I still have no idea how I'm going to pass Econ. And <laughs> Reggie, it's going to be okay. I know it sucks. But you'll get through it. Thanks, Max. I'm not talking to you, Loretta. Fuck you. I'm gonna, this is, uh, Lucas is over here somewhere. I don't really want to talk to him, though. Gotta go to the Snapping Turtle. Admin building. Wasn't the Snapping Turtle... Where was it? Was this on campus? I don't think so. What, what is this? Oh, I can't go in here. So the admin building is right there. Was the Snapping Turtle always on campus? Huh. So are we just, like, uh... living with our doppelgangers? I don't want to talk to you, Lucas. I'm not going to lie. Yasmin. I haven't heard from her since the day she came out of surgery. Hello? Hello, Maxine. How's your shoulder or how's your mental health? <laughs> how's your shoulder? The bullet missed any major veins. But... Months of physical therapy before I can use my arm. Yes, mean. What you saw during the storm. I don't need an explanation. Not yet. If I try to understand, then there will be no room for my recovery. And I will recover. 
I have to find Safia. Any news about your job? I heard the board, um... Uh, I have been arguing with them. I made my mistakes, but these are offset by an excellent track record. And... did the board buy that? They did not, no. I have been asked, <laughs> forced, to step down. I love my daughter, Maxine, just like you. I am not a monster. I haven't heard from Safi, if that's what you're trying to ask. Oh. I, I had hope. One moment. Uh-oh. Is she going to come in there and shoot her ass? Excuse me. I, I'm apparently well past the appointed time to take my painkillers. Oh, I thought Safi was about to, like, kick the door in and just shoot her again. Until next time. To be continued. I think that's a good sign. There's only one son, so. <laughs> Here goes nothing. What's up, guys? Well? Not a peep. Guess I'm not surprised. Would you come looking for us if you were her? But it's not me. It's Safi. Does anyone ever know what she'll do next? Does she? Maybe we should go easy on her. Wait for her to pick up the pieces. In the meantime... Take your time. I'll be here when you're done. to check on how everyone's doing first. Yeah, she probably, you know, give them explanations and everything. So you're super Max. Guess your secret identity is gone, huh? I wanted to tell you. But you couldn't. Just like with the Maya thing. Any more secrets or... Do I finally get to know you now? I don't know. This isn't my first time seeing a storm like this. It's not super easy to explain. It is pretty insane. <laughs> You know, I remember rejecting you. And then you just found a version of me that still wanted you. A pretty cool trick. But kind of fucked up. Where does that leave us? I'd understand if this changes things. That's what I was going to ask you. You kissed him, too. Oh shit. Right in front she of knows me, about that? Oh. Right away. Well, one of the me's. This whole other reality thing is new for me too. But I am sorry. It was a dick move. I was drunk and sad. That was my excuse All before. This scares the shit out of me, honestly. If it weren't you. 
I don't know how down I would be to play Lois Lane. But it is you. And they like you. I think I need time. To sort out my shit? Give me a little. And then who knows? <laughs> Maybe you can win me back. Challenge accepted. Good talk. Good talk. I knew that that would come back and bite me in the butt, but you know what? We got a message from Gwen. Uh, Gwenabags are Big Bertha. We bought a wine bago and it needs a name. I'm okay. How about Big Bertha? Can't go wrong with Big Bertha. That's always nice. Same thing she said. Big Bertha it is. Thanks, Max. Trying out on the road. I'll send you pics. Live fast. Eat ass, Gwen. <laughs> Max. Fuck yeah, brother. Sorry. Oh. I just. You're going to explain what happened, right? Hey, we okay? What do you think it all means? Why you or Safi? I have no idea, man. I'm just here trying to live my life. I used to ask myself stuff like that all the time. Come up with any answers? Nope. No. But I did fuck up a lot of my relationships in the process. Wouldn't recommend it. How are we supposed to walk around knowing something like that could happen? You already handle that every day. Anything could happen at any moment. You could be hit by a car, struck by lightning. Is this your pep talk? You know, at least I tried. <laughs> I'm not, I'm doing my best here. All right, where's, uh, what's his face? Vin. Hey, getting drunk again? That's what's up. Max. Jesus Christ, I am so fucking glad to see you. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for texting you like 900 times. I just didn't know who else to talk to. Maybe get really into video games for a while. <laughs> yeah, I recommend video games heal everything. Sure. Not this one though, but <laughs> Diamond taking over as Abraxas president. I've suddenly got an open social calendar. So you're stepping down? For sure? I've already made up my mind to. Or at least some Vin did out there. Somewhere. Nobody to blame but myself. Things will get better. Yeah. New horizons, right? We'll talk soon. All right, check that off the list. We got Diamond Vin. I think that's everyone. Amanda. Okay, Moses. Let's give them the talk. All right, Moses. You want the talk? I called you a Moses. My bad. I was looking at Amanda when I said that. Where is? Oh, he's over here. Big Moses hiding in the corner. Yeah, let me get a screenshot what of that. Say to a picture. For old time's sake. Moses has hypothermia. <laughs> and now, crippling anxiety. Join the club. I can never have enough. Ooh, shot ooh, strut yourself. That, oh, your eyes were closed. No. Come on, we need a really good one. Keep your eyes open. Look at my man. Yes. Double expose that bitch too. Just for good measure. Yeah. That's crazy. Asking Moses to act natural seems to result in the exact opposite. More research needed. Do you blame Safi for what happened? Yes. I just want to know she.
Everyone's pretty shell shocked. Yep. How about you? Still excited to have double memories? <laughs> I can't be the only one. Seriously? Come on. It's fascinating. Well, I feel better knowing you stood up to Safi. She cares what you think. Maybe it'll make a difference. I don't think so. She seemed pretty murdery. I hope Safi figures her shit out wherever she ends up, but I don't want any part of it. I missed two weeks ago. Hey, we're a team, right? I'll handle it with you. No more hiding or running away. What about the blue hair girl, Chloe? Are you ready to stop hiding from her? It's finally starting to make sense. I think so. Not yet, but... Oh! Is Chloe gonna come in at the very end? She gonna walk through those doors? Oh no, that's just Amanda. Fuck. <laughs> but I think it's starting to make sense. And I'll try to get it right. This better not be copyrighted. It probably will be. have you on my side. I just wanna get I think it's time I explained a few things. It won't always make sense. And I'm not proud of every decision I made. But it's the truth. Krampus! What's coming next is going to be difficult. For all of us. But we're going to get through it together. I promise. I just want to get it. This time, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, wow. Life is strange. Double exposure. That's it, y'all. This music is loud as shit. I don't even know if you guys can hear it, but... <laughs> That's the game right there. All right, let me, uh, let me skip this real quick, just so... Oh my god, it's coming back. <laughs> oh, after the credits? Another achievement? All right, yeah, complete chapter five, then complete the whole game. Diamond? Hello? Oh. <gasps> The nosebleed. Shit. We're gonna have to get you a blood transfusion. What the fuck are you doing here? You remember me. That's flattering. I've seen nosebleeds like that before. So you can run, or you can follow me and get some answers. Your choice. Wow, Max Coffee will be return. What? So is there going to be another game or DLC or something? Huh?
Yeah, because that really didn't feel like an ending. What, is Safi going to make like a fucking X-Men or some shit? Is she going to form the Avengers for uh, Life is Strange people? 32%? Oh, my, most of you people agreed? That's crazy. Um, those are all just kind of worthless things. All right, back to the main menu. That's crazy. Most of you all agreed. All right, y'all. So that was Life is Strange Double Exposure. I'm not gonna lie, this game is whack. I would not recommend it. <laughs> Maybe if you're like a super hardcore Life is Strange fan, which I was, I loved the first game. I liked the second one. Third one was, it was all right. I liked it. And I really liked Before the Storm too. So um, that's why I like pre-ordered the deluxe edition as soon as that went on sale. I'm kind of regretting it. I can't lie. I did not really like this game that much. The first episode was really good. And then I think after that, it just it was a fucking train wreck. And I was bored through like literally most of it. Um, but yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, all that. Let me know what you guys thought of this game down below. I'm really curious. And also really curious as to why you guys fucking accepted Safi's offer. Maybe they're going to have Life is Strange X-Men. I don't know. Life is Strange. Avengers Assemble. <laughs> it's kind of what it's sounding like. Hope you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.